Introduction, The Flying Nun was a beloved television series that first graced our screens in 1967 and quickly captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Created by Harry Ackerman and Max Wiley, the show showcased a unique blend of comedy, drama, and a touch of fantasy, making it a delightful and enduring classic. Set in the picturesque San Juan, Puerto Rico, the series followed the adventures of Sister Bertrill, a young novice with an extraordinary ability. She could fly. The TV series' popularity can be attributed to several factors. First and foremost, Sally Field's exceptional portrayal of the charming and kind-hearted Sister Bertrill was a driving force behind the show's success. Her endearing and spirited performance resonated with viewers, making her an iconic character of 1960s television. The combination of comedy, drama, and fantasy elements, along with a heartwarming depiction of convent life and the challenges Sister Bertrill faced, created a captivating and entertaining experience for viewers of all ages. Furthermore, The Flying Nun embraced a unique premise that stood out among other television shows of its time. The notion of a flying nun was both intriguing and imaginative, adding a touch of whimsy to the series. This imaginative twist made the show a refreshing escape from the ordinary, allowing audiences to embark on a delightful journey filled with humor, life lessons, and memorable moments. The show's enduring popularity can also be credited to the talented supporting cast, including Marge Redmond, who played the wise and understanding sister Jacqueline, and Madeline Sherwood, who portrayed the stern mother superior. Together, they brought depth and authenticity to the convent's characters, enriching the overall storytelling experience. Now, dear viewer, I invite you to take a trip down memory lane. Do you have any fond memories of the Flying Nun? Did you eagerly follow Sister Bertrill's aerial adventures each week or perhaps found yourself enchanted by the show's wholesome charm? Share your nostalgic recollections or any cherished moments you may have from this delightful series. In conclusion, The Flying Nun remains a cherished gem in the treasure trove of classic television. With its heartwarming storytelling, stellar performances, and a touch of magic, the show continues to hold a special place in the hearts of viewers even after all these years. So, let us fondly remember the flying sister who brought joy and laughter into our lives and celebrate the enduring appeal of this timeless series. In the late 1960s, a beloved TV gem enchanted audiences worldwide, The Flying Nun. Sally Field's remarkable portrayal of Sister Bertrill captivated hearts, but her journey wasn't without challenges. Initially disliking the scripts, she refused to read them. Instead, she memorized lines right before scenes, infusing her performance with genuine charm. This unorthodox method elevated the show's popularity and Sally's reputation as a talented actress. The Flying Nun became a timeless classic, showcasing the power of determination and ingenuity in shaping destiny. Let's celebrate this enchanting chapter in TV history, embracing individuality and finding inspiration in unexpected places. In the world of The Flying Nun, Sister Bertrill embarks on a nostalgic journey through her past. She discovers old home movies, realizing they are snippets from another TV series, Gidget, featuring Sally Field. This unexpected connection highlights the intertwining of stories on and off the screen. Grateful for her memories shaping her journey, she embraces life's delightful surprises and continues her sky-soaring adventures. Life's tapestry becomes more magical with interconnectedness. In the world of television, creativity and imagination soar high with timeless gems like The Flying Nun. Set in Puerto Rico, the show uniquely immersed viewers in the Caribbean's cultural tapestry. Premiering in 1967, it blended comedy, drama, and magical realism, captivating audiences nationwide. Sister Bertrill, portrayed by Sally Field, was a charming and quirky young novice with a supernatural gift. She could defy gravity and float in the air with her cornet. The series' picturesque Puerto Rican backdrop and warm-hearted characters added to its allure. It became an inspiration for embracing individuality and human potential, resonating across generations. The show fostered enduring love for Puerto Rico, igniting dreams of experiencing its wonders firsthand. The Flying Nun's legacy endures, reminding us of Puerto Rico's timeless allure and the power of human imagination. It left an indelible mark on television history, encouraging viewers to reach for the sky like Sister Bertrill. As we bid adieu, we cherish the show's groundbreaking impact and heartwarming storytelling. 
The Flying Nun remains etched in our hearts, a timeless tale that transcended borders and touched many lives. Now, as we return to reality, we celebrate the captivating journey through Puerto Rico's skies with The Flying Nun. Filled with laughter, love, and sisterhood, this adventure reminds us that the skies are just a starting point to explore life's boundless horizons. With memories of Sister Bertrill in our hearts, we bid adieu to this magical series that celebrated the joy of flight, both in the skies and within our souls. In the golden age of television, one show stood out, The Flying Nun, starring Sally Field as Sister Bertrill in 1967. Despite its popularity, Field privately harbored little affection for the show. In a candid 2004 interview, she revealed her conflicting emotions about the series that defined a significant chapter in her life. Field felt the role lacked depth and meaning compared to her previous character in Gidget. To her, the flying nun was filled with triviality and lacked real human behavior or substance. While some fans cherished the series, Field couldn't overlook its shallow portrayal of human interactions. Madeline Sherwood, who played Mother Superior, noticed Sally's discontent and introduced her to the actor's studio, where she found authenticity in her performances and self-discovery. Although Field had negative feelings towards The Flying Nun, she acknowledged its importance in her growth as an actress and as a person. It taught her valuable lessons about perseverance and navigating challenging situations. Despite its legacy, Sally Field's journey from the flying nun to the actor's studio symbolizes the complexities of the human experience, reminding us that success and adoration can coexist with doubt and discontent. Reflecting on TV's impactful shows, let's remember the human aspect behind the performances. Sally Field's candid interview serves as a reminder that even Hollywood stars experience doubts and challenges, and finding one's true purpose requires courage and introspection. In the end, The Flying Nun remains a testament to the pursuit of authenticity amidst a world of make-believe. Sally Field's journey is a story of growth, resilience, and finding one's place. In the magical world of television, a fascinating concept once hovered on the brink of center stage. In 1967, amidst the popularity of The Flying Nun, creators contemplated an audacious idea to merge Gidget, the beloved surfer girl, with the role of a nun named Sister Birdle. Imagine carefree Gidget now living in a peaceful convent, navigating a spiritual journey while retaining her past adventures. The vision of blending two incongruent worlds excited the creative team, but challenges loomed. Concerns arose about diminishing Gidget's charm or losing the essence of both characters. Ultimately, the decision was made to drop the concept and forge a new path, leaving no trace of Gidget in the flying nun. Sister Birdle emerged as her own creation, independent of past fame. Although the Gidget Nun amalgamation remained a wistful what if, the flying nun's legacy endured as a symbol of heartwarming storytelling and unwavering faith. Its soaring success touched hearts and inspired generations with humor and love. The untold tale of Gidget's venture into the world of nuns became a delightful enigma, showcasing the boundless imagination of entertainment. The show continues to charm and enchant audiences worldwide, with or without Gidget as Sister Birdle. Its enduring legacy speaks to the power of faith, the magic of television, and the limitless horizons of human imagination. 